and your brain. If you want to play the game! It's time for Fun House. Wacky contestants, messy games, the Fun Car Grand Prix race, and a crazy chase to win lots of prizes. Now here's the guy who puts the fun into Fun House, Pat Sharp! <laughs> This is my, my idea of tap dancing to start the weekend, but it's lucky I'm wearing shoes that don't make a noise because it's so bad. Actually, you probably heard the one about the tap dancer who kept falling in the sink and the Morris dancer who kept falling off the bonnet and the uh, joke teller who ended up on Funhouse. Welcome to the show! <laughs> Explosive show we have for you this weekend, so please welcome our cheerleaders, Melanie and Martina! Yeah! But we can't do the show without the players. They're the main ones, so bring them on, girls! <laughs> so, Sister Martina. Brother Pat, <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, we're not all related, it's just the twins are related. I'm just of very course. separate. I want to, uh, you know. Just move myself a little bit for you, just a little bit of distance there, even Thanks. though we're all blondes. So who do you have? We're all blondies today. Everybody, the players, the contestants, the presenter, the producer, the director. Pat. Oh, sorry. I have I have Sophie and Robert from Penrith, and they both attend the Queen Elizabeth Grammar School. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! And Sister Mel. I have Becky and Ben, and they're from Bishop Stortford, and they attend the St Mary Secondary School. Yeah! Yeah! All right. First of all, we say hello to Sophie, whose nickname is Monty. Why? Um, well, my second name is Everest. Yes. And shortened down. Um, well, it's. Uh, Everest is yeah. the mountain, and mountain shot and down is Monty. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so. I, I understood that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is Robbie now. Oh, good, we found you at last. We've been searching for you since you left. Take that. So, welcome along. You want to be a policeman, and your favourite football team is Man United. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, which position do you play in soccer? Midfield, central. Oh, okay. I always play sort of uh, left back in the dressing room because I'm not very good. <laughs> no, I'm not good at football. It's not my best thing. And uh, we go over now to the red team. We wish you luck today from Bishop Stortford. This is uh, Ben, nicknamed Bowler. Why? Yeah. Because your surname. surname's Bowler. Yeah. <laughs> so why don't they just nickname you Ben? It'll be a lot easier. <laughs> uh, your favourite thing is golf. Yeah. Okay. So uh, do you have two pairs of trousers with you? Why can't? In case you get a hole in one. <laughs> oh, no, no. We never rehearsed that. <laughs> And last but not least, this is Becky, whose favourite thing is a hamster. That's the favourite. That's more than a thing. That's a, that's a, that's a hamster. <laughs> you want to be a tennis coach? Yeah. So you want to drive all your friends to the matches. That's great. That's really... Tennis no. coach? No. Coach. No. Tennis coach. No, the other sort of coach. <laughs> okay. Well, good luck to all our players today on the Fun House. Yeah! OK, Fun House fans, if you've never seen us before, you should be ashamed of yourselves. I'm going to tell you what we're going to do. We're going to play three fun-filled games, each one worth 25 points to the winning team. After each game, we'll bring you guys back here. You'll hit the buzzers, your bells, tweakers, whatever we want to call them. And uh, if you get it right, you get another 25 points. Then the Fun Cart Grand Prix, you cross the line first, 25 points, collect the tokens along the way. Then a trip inside that fun house for the weekend blast-off. Oh, it's going to be great. We've got such a good show for you today, you're going to love it. 22 and a half minutes to go, so I better be quiet, because over at the Ritz restaurant, there are rats in the Ritz. Come and see what I mean! Oh, we've got a good crowd today. They're making a lot of noise. And this is my waiter service here, as you will have a look. These plates are going to be squeaky clean soon because inside is a squeaky rodent called a rat. Ugh, hold on. Ugh, that's sorted him out, you see. There you go. And I can't believe it. There is one of these hidden inside every plate. You... Look at this. This is terrible. I'm already in a state. I knew I should have kept this. Right, your job as waiters will be to find the rats to serve them out of there, but the ladies have got problems. You're wearing goggles for one simple reason. This is going to be in your face. <laughs> right in your face, because you can't do what I did. You cannot use your hands. You can only use your mouth. So you'll have to go... <laughs> pull out the rat, take it here, and then place it over here into this. But then, of course, you're going to need to be cleaned up, aren't you? So you're going to have to give her a refreshing drink by picking this up and tipping it mostly over her and perhaps a little bit over you, because you look far too clean for Funhouse, OK? So the, then you've got to move from table to table. Like, red, red table one is here, and red table two is um, right over... Here. Excuse me, love, I won't be a second. Uh, right over here. So it's a real battle to see which table you've got to go to next. The one with the most ratatouille is the winner. So if you're set, make sure that you make a mess. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs>
the Pied Piper after that. Trouble is, he's never around when you feel like him, is he? So how many did we get over here? Oh, the third Martino Melanie Grant. Look. <laughs> Hello, love. <laughs> yes, you're much quieter. I prefer you that way. OK. Right. So how many, how, many, uh, how many ratatouilles did you get, baby? We got three! Oh, yeah! cheers! Well done! <laughs> OK, the Red Devils proudly present the swing a ding ding answer. How many did you get? We got four! Have a drink on me! Let's rerun the fun! Yeah! yeah! I can't believe I threw a pie in my own face. What a game it was. Bishop Stortford Reds in the lead. 25 points. Yeah! Now, from dinner at the Rats, here's a boy's question. 25 points, you don't have to get messy. Spell the word rodent. <laughs> Yellows. R O. D E N T. Yes! 25 points, Yellows! You've made it level pegging! It's 25 points apiece! Yeah! The state I'm in, the hair's all full of cream now and all wet and horrible. But we'll get on to game two and we'll go over because the guys are about to bowl you over! And this kind of bowling is 10 pin style. Catch that camera too. Oh my goodness. It's like the old shot put, isn't it? This is 10 pin bowling with a difference because you are attached by bungee rope and this is very, 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 oh my foot. It's very, very springy. So that is going to really cause you problems because you are not going to bowl the funhouse balls, which are balloons full of gunge down the alleyway. You are going to push them down on your hands and knees by using your nose. So all the way down here, through all this gunge, all the way along. That was very good. It was like a sound effect there, but they were real. A real audience ear. And when you get down here, it won't be your job to knock over the skittles. It'll be your job to burst the balloons and as many as you can burst inside 60 seconds by using your nose, being on your hands and knees. I'll put this back in there because you'll need that. The bungee rope will stop you from going. It'll keep pulling you back in the gun. You'll have terrible trouble. Wish you luck. I'll take this with me because I'm not saying anymore. I'm officially on strike. Go! Fantastic game. <laughs> oh. Stay there. Shame you weren't under that one, Mel. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too. Oh, I don't mean that. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. Okay, <laughs> so um, just tell me how many you burst. We got six! Well done. Yay! Well done. And how did old slimy chops do? I saw he had a problem in the corner with this one. There's one <laughs> left over in the corner that just wouldn't burst, but then he got the hang of it. Slimy chops got five. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> The Reds take the lead! Let's rerun the fun! Strike out! Yeah! So those Reds knocked them for six and got 25 points! Yeah! What a state your hair is in. Look at you. Thought hair washing was bad at night time, didn't you? That really takes the biscuit. Now, girls question, because they're nice and clean, more or less. Which Stone Age cartoon characters love to go bowling? <laughs> Reds. Flintstones. Yeah, that'll do for me. Yeah! Well done. So they storm into the lead. 25 yellows, 50 points ahead with 75. It's the red team. Yeah! All right, game three takes place at a secret movie location. So secret, I can't tell you. Which is a shame because you're playing it. So I better tell you. It's over there. Come on. Yeah! What on earth is going on here? It must be... Yeah, that is hideous. That's really dirty stuff. We are playing Gems Pond, OK? So eat your heart out, Piers Brosnan and the Golden Eye set. Look at this. This is your top secret videotape. And that 
is your bottom secret videotape, OK? <laughs> now... No, it's all right. It gets better. Over here are secret agents who do not smile. They are spying. They're keeping an eye on the proceedings to make sure that our girls, dressed as James Pond, get into the pond, shaken, not stirred, go through this hideous mess while this is moving from side to side as a guillotine and collect as many of the red or yellow corresponding videotapes run over here, eventually by falling over the boulders and rocks that will come from the explosions and all sorts of things from behind and placing them in the safe like this. Then they will be very safe. So, girls, remember, when you move this, you must live up to your image. Schwing, schwing. schwing. Yeah, excellent stuff. Oh, it's a key game as well, which means the runners-up get points. And remember, if you're James Pond, you have a licence to spill. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Right on the end, right. You got one right on your head, didn't you? <laughs> right, did you see that? In the game, she got it right on her head. But don't worry, there's nothing in there. No damage done. Right. The spy who came in from the mould is now going to give the scores on the doors with a bit of help from the twins. Yeah, we're going to count together. OK. Oh, you, oh my God. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Risky, but fun. <laughs> right. Here we go. Ready? We got... Oh, hold on. <laughs> so one, I told you. two, two... <laughs> You just said to me we're going to count together. I know. I lied. <laughs> Either way, it was fun and it was a rocky start, but a good finish. Let's rerun it! Yeah! Well, after that game, I'm getting myself a new agent. His identity will be kept secret, but either way, it's a draw. 25 points each. Well done. Yeah! A nice yo there, and you have some catching up to do. Yellows. Boys, question. Good luck. How many legs, and it could have been found in that pond, does an octopus have? <laughs> Yellow. Eight. Exactly right. Well yeah! done! Yeah! Eight legs gives you 25 Yo. points. The score now stands at 75, but the red's still in the lead, just with 100. Yeah! 100 is too fast for you to drive. Not allowed to go that quick. But you'll see just how fast the girls bring them on with the Fun Car Grand Prix next. <laughs> Well, I don't think they broke the speed limit. They're OK. Make sure you guys don't. Remember, you cannot exceed 100, which is the score the Reds have. The yellow's at 75 at the moment. This is what you do. You grab these ear tokens, OK, on the first lap around. There they are. Have a close look. 25's... <laughs> He's good, isn't he? He can't even hold on to his helmet, let alone hold on to these. If you start going like this and they end up on the floor... Oh! They don't count. They've got to go in the pouch, OK? Second lap around are the 10 points. That's what you grab second time around. The third lap... You just go for it. Don't grab any tokens. Just go for the chequered flag. First one across the line gets 25 points. Can you hear me? Yeah. Are you at home? No. <laughs> Come on, then. Who's going first? Me, Pat. I can't hear them. They're going... <laughs> you guys going to make some noise? Yeah! All right. It's very close. This is going to take somebody into the fun. As I know, I'm just practising the finish. What do you think I am, stupid? Don't answer that. On your marks, get set. Go!
racing into the weekend. Well done to the Reds. You did it. You crossed the line first. You got the checkered flag. 25 points! Yes! Yay! Now, let's add up your tokens. You definitely didn't go over 100 miles an hour, did you? No. Because otherwise you get disqualified at this stage. Okay, so here we go. These are the big ones. Look at this. Well done. Falling nice and neatly. And now the tens. Here we go. Total score, Reds, 220 points. Well done. Yay! And now, Rob and Soph, let's see how you got on. Adding to your score, we get 25 and 25. Hope you're counting at home and 25. And now... <laughs> Stop laughing. This is my job, all right? <laughs> 10, 20, 30, 180. You're going into the fun house. You've done it. Yeah! Oh! 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 Penrith, you go, but you don't go away empty handed. Have a look at this. This is really good. It's the uh, personal portable CD player and a bag to put it in. And now a bag modeling. A very own jacket. Go on, give us a twirl. That's what you get. You get one of those each. There you go. Take that away. We'll make sure. Pleasure. We'll make sure you get one of those each in the inner bag so you're, you're looked after, okay? Well played, yellows. Don't run away. You want to know what the prizes are in the fun house so you can know where to go, which route to take. Gary King has the details, and you lot, come and join us! Yeah! Take off on the Flying Fox and slip into some roo shoes. No parachutes here to aid your jungle jump, but scale the heights with this wonderful kite. Battle through the ball run and cook up a storm on this fantastic camping cook set. Strike it lucky in the stone faces and you can win this contemporary calculator. Whiz away on the bobsleigh to win the latest Judge Dread computer game or try our tumbling tube and this trendy watch could tumble into your lap. Burst your way through the balloon tunnel and come up with a year's supply of your favourite comic. Play the game of pullovers and this beautiful badminton racket could be yours. No gigs with this gear in the Battle of the Hungry Burgers? Then master the monster maze and this handy hold-all could be yours. Slide on the wild slide to the sound of your own personal stereo. Defeat your opponents on the danger net and you'll be sporting a free sports club membership. Beat the Skelter Belter and you can pick up your very own answer phone. Don't get knotted in the net ladder and you can walk away with these wonderful walkie-talkies. And slip and slide your way to a big surprise with your best buddies. Wow, what a list, eh? What a list. Bishop Storfords, Becky and Ben are very happy with that little selection there. What will you be going for? The walkie-talkies and the personal stereo. Personal stereo and the answer phone. OK, well, you'll be OK, because when you said but personal stereo and you said it as well, you do get one each, so you're OK. So only, you know, just grab one. Sorry. <laughs> These are the 15 prize tags, or at least one of them, an example of. When you grab them inside the funhouse, one of them activates the power prize, which this week is as follows. The details from Gary King. Gary? An ace adventure awaits you on this exciting action pack holiday. Thrills and skills to learn with go-karts, abseiling and canoeing. Go-karts. Oh, oh, Ben's happy with the go-karts. He loved going around there. So you'll go on an action-adventure holiday and you'll be able to use um, quad bikes and go-karts and cars and trail bikes and everything. So uh, we'll make a man of you yet. <laughs> now, when you grab the token, if you grab the token, if you go the right way that makes that sound, you will hear this sound. <laughs> That means you've got a chance to answer the question which Martina will bring on. It'll be a three-parter and that will set you up with a prize, OK? But meanwhile, it's a t case of grabbing three and then three and three and three and swapping over and high-fiving on the way down, getting as many prizes as you can. You have two minutes to do it. Feet on the steps. I wish you all the luck in the world. Before you go, one other thing I've got to show you. It's just the people at home where the power prize is exactly hidden, OK? Just before you go. You won't see this anyway, so you can stare into that camera. It won't make any difference. It's hidden here. OK, so those at home now know where it is but you don't, OK? So the only way you'll know is by making that sound that activates it. On your marks, get set, don't forget your fashion headphones. Go!
Well done, congratulations, that was brilliant. The winning really is just beginning here. Let's see just how much you've got and how many good prizes. Here we go. You have got the Roux shoes each. Ooh. We'll make sure it's a pair each. You've got a calculator each. Ooh. The sports club membership each. Ooh. The personal stereo each. Ooh. The geeks gear, which you're already wearing. Ooh. Limo for a day, bring it back by 6.30. Trendy watch. Ooh. Walkie talkies. Judge Dread computer game. And a mystery one, which is an upside down bowling bash. Yay! There you are, you don't get many of those for the pound, I tell you. <laughs> so well done, you've been superb. Do you know, when I arrived here for the show today, I, it's done in Glasgow, so I come to, to Glasgow Airport. They've got a little sort of kids' play area, and it's called Fun House. When you get off the plane, it's sort of sitting there. And I felt like having a go, but it wasn't a patch on what you did in ours. So well played. Sorry you didn't get the power prize. Sorry you went the wrong way. Have a nice weekend, and we'll see you soon on Fun House. Bye bye!